Well, what are we going to get into today? Well, today we are going, well, how do I want to say this? You either love it or you hate it. That's the way it seems like. But it's pumpkin season, and we have to make some pumpkin shine, don't we? All right, so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to make some pumpkin moonshine. But first things first, welcome to Still Works and Brewing. My name is Randy, and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. All right, let's get started. I have made pumpkin moonshine before, but this one's just a little bit different, very similar, but... Hey, we're gonna put it on for uh, Moonshine Wednesdays. All right, so what ingredients do we need? Well, of course, we need some apple cider. And the next thing we need is one 29 ounce can of pumpkin puree. You can make your own pumpkin, you put them in the oven and bake them and all that. I'd like to try that one time too. Um, we need some pumpkin pie spices. I just found this in the store. And it's uh, it just ground cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and, and cloves. All right, it's already made up for me. We need one quart of shine, and we also need marshmallows. All right. So, what we want to do is we put everything in the pot but the shine. Sorry. Right, so we're going. To, let's start with the pumpkin first. All right, so we're putting the pumpkin in. Put all that wonderful stuff in there. All right, got pumpkin. The next thing we wanna do is I wanna put one gallon of apple cider in, in the pot. Yeah, so we're starting our fall moonshines. Ooh, I hope it's all gonna fit in there. I think my pot's about full. All right, ooh. Okay, let me start getting that to warm up. And we'll get all that. What we want to do is bring this up to a simmer. All right. So the next thing we want is, uh, according to the directions, is six teaspoons of the pumpkin spices, okay? Let me get Six teaspoons. One, two, three, four, and six teaspoons. So we'll get all this heated up and we're gonna bring it up to a simmer. Like I said before, you either love pumpkin spice or you don't. I mean, this time of year, you see it in the, the pumpkin coffee, you see, um, pumpkin pie, all different kinds of pumpkin dough. Pumpkin's everywhere, so why not in shine, right? But I wouldn't be right if I didn't make pumpkin shine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's gonna take a while. All right, the next thing I wanna do Damn, my scissors are a mess. Is we're gonna put in a handful of marshmallows. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
put a, a handful of marshmallows on top, let them melt in there, give it a little marshmallow flavor. All right, so let me let that heat up and we'll be back, okay? Uh, I was looking over my recipe, we've got one important ingredient. We want two and a half cups of dark brown sugar. Hopefully it's gonna fit in this pot. There's one. And half. One and a half cups of dark brown sugar. All right, we're still heating this up. Those marshmallows should just keep stirred every once in a while. And marshmallows will start melting soon. And basically when them marshmallows are all melted, you know you're done. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay? So it's pretty much cooled down. Uh, time we're gonna try to, I, I'm using a funnel, a, a mesh strainers, in case there's any big hunks of fiber in there that I wanna try to get out. So let's see how this is gonna work. I mean, it is, there's a few big hunks. Not bad. Unless they're in the bottom of the pot. I just wanted to put it in these jars, kind of strain it a little bit, and to, uh, and then that's when I'll mix my alcohol in. Moonshine. Real tasty. This is catching some. Let me let that drain out, then I'll rinse my screen out. Alright, so let me get this strained out then. Okay, that's pretty much cool. So now what we want to do is add in our shine. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll add my shine in there like that, and then I will just mix mix between jars. The reason I do it is the pot wasn't big enough. I need a bigger pot, but we'll make it do. We'll make it work. One more time, that should be mixed up. Okay, I need my fun. Alright, so what we need to do now is we're going to fill up our mason jars. <laughs> oh, okay, it didn't feel right. Alright, let's fill up our mason jars. I ended up with more than I thought.
All right. One, two, three, four, five. Another jar. Okay, so I got six jars out of that. That's awesome. Hi. Right, now it's time for a test. I mean, it looks nice. Ooh. It's 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 it's. I'm gonna say slight on the. Pumpkin side, you taste that um, apple cider just a little bit and a very little bit of the alcohol. And then you get hit with that, the uh, pumpkin spice, which is very, very nice. That didn't sound right. Anyway. All right, that is good. And like I said in earlier, I know some people hate pumpkin. I'm not one of them. I love pumpkin spice. I like the coffee, um, donuts, whatever the case may be. So, that is our pumpkin moonshine recipe. Hey, enjoy it. Uh, it's fantastic. What else can I say? I guess the last thing I got to say is, well, two things I got to say. Well, happy moonshine Wednesday. Falls are coming, so you gotta start getting ready for that uh, the fall moonshines. This is number one for the fall. And hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works and Bro. Oh, that's good. You can have more. Yum. Mm, yum, yum, yum.